Hello everyone and welcome to a short video because uh, the camera battery might die and this is the third take of the video anyway. So today we're talking about something that I don't really often talk about on this channel but um, I feel like in the world of Doctor Who fan community I feel like it's integral to discuss my opinions that you viewers know my opinion on the matter. So, here it is, Peter Davidson. Here it is, John Turtley. That is William Hartnell, Lachenka, and Paul McGann, the TARDIS. What do all these things have in common, other than they're all from the Doctor Who franchise? Well, it's that they're easily, including the TARDIS, might I add, Easily cosplayable. Now, cosplay, if I'm not mistaken, and obviously I might be wrong in saying this because I'm not 100% sure this is correct, but from what I uh, discover, that cosplay stands for costume play, or if you're a cosplayer, you're a cos costume player, which must mean you just dress up as accurate as possible in a costume of a franchise that you're obsessed with. So Comic Con uh, in London, which is the only Comic Con I've been to, has people going to a lot of effort to dress up as the bloke from Halo, but it also has a lot of people dressed as Doctor Who characters. And that's not just at Comic Con. People use it for any events. Don't you, Martin? Is the best Doctor Who cosplayer that I know of. Sorry about the quality shift. The camera has died, but I wanted to keep this video going. So, what I was talking about was cosplay. Now, cosplay in my eyes, more than anyone else's eyes, is a concept that Dom and G. Martin is what I was saying was the best well known in the Doctor Who world. I know of anyway and what he does is he makes sure the costumes as accurate as possible so let's show an example so if you're dressing up as Peter Davidson over here he would make sure that each detail of the costume is as accurate as he possibly can get it whether or not that means finding the actual clothing or making something similar uh, the one I've been trying to follow, because I think would be an interesting design choice, would be to try and create my own Adric costume. But if you think about it, make my own Adric costume would be a um, interesting challenge. If my phone falls, this is my own phone. So it would be a very interesting challenge due to the fact that... Um, Due to, really, the fact that Adric has this interesting design, and I feel like it might be hard, might be tricky, uh, might take a lot of time, and might not have the correct, what's the word for it, resources to be able to make this costume. And you try and Google all these things, and you think, oh, but to try and make it as good as all these other people, you, you need years of practice. So Dominic G. Martin, who is best known as a Who Chaser, because he's a Doctor Who fan and a fan of the British TV quiz show, The Chase. Um, he used to, for years, only make exclusive cosplay videos. What I mean by that is that he talked about how do you make your own 10th Doctor costume, how do you make your own 11th Doctor costume, and now he, do he doesn't do that as much anymore. He still cosplays, but he mainly does um, audio dramas and about his own doctor other than his doctor in DW 2012. Now, cosplay is so good, which is suggested in the title, is only because of the amount of people that do cosplay. The amount of people that um, take all this time, take all this effort to, to create this craft that incredible amazing and just really well worth it if if i'm not mistaken because it's like 
these, these people are dedicated fans, and even Big Finish characters that you can only really see in, in uh, like figure sets like this. You don't really know what these look like, but somehow people made accurate versions of um, Paul McGann's Dark Eyes Sonic, so that Paul McGann can have a Dark Eyes Sonic, and that's because these cosplayers have gone through all this effort and made sure the bots are to make it meticulous what it's supposed to look like, and that is really interesting to me. And it's interesting to me because it's like, wow, that is so good. And, and I try and replicate something like that, and it's like, oh, no. And my thing's never as good as everyone else's, but that's why cosplay is so good. So, to round off this multi-quality uh, camera video, where the quality interchange between the camera, my phone, camera, um, I just want to round this video saying, why is cosplay so good? It's because of time, effort, and because of the skills of the people that go up and go and do the cosplay, the people that want to do it. And that's why Doctor Who cosplay is so good, because of the effort, because of the time, because of the... Because of the wide variety of costumes in the Doctor Who universe, from monsters to different Doctor outfits to... Companions to all sorts. Now, we've never had a canine cosplay uh, on Robot Wars where they made a canine robot. Robot Wars, but if Robot Wars ever return, someone needs to do that. So, I do think it's an overall an interesting topic point because cosplay in itself is a tricky medium, but it's so good. So, I'm interested to know what. Um, photo I use within the thumbnail when I'm editing the thumbnail because it's like a, a concept of a genre in the fan community there isn't just one particular image to represent it so who knows anyway guys thank you guys for watching sorry the quality has been all over the shop uh, I will make sure that it doesn't go all over the shop again next time but um, but I just wish that the front camera on iPhone had 4K as well as the back ca catalogue camera because then it just means that I can play 4K in front and back and I can actually see whether or not I'm in shot, in frame and whether or not it's actually recording well whilst I'm having a discussion on the whole fact about the, the information that I want to discuss. So anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. Time to out. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe to the official Tom Mason YouTube channel.